Okay, this is gonna be a small thing about two of people I am crazy fans of. Obviously, one bigger than the other. Coming out that they're voting for Trump, and why people are mad. Why I why I think I people should be mad, and why I think people shouldn't care. First, vote for who you want. Nobody should be able to tell you who you, you should or shouldn't vote for. That's what voting is. But first, the fifty thing. Okay, he blatantly sa says the only reason he changed his mind is because the tax uh, thing that Trumps that Biden's planning on doing to the one percent. And 50 being the 1% pisses him off. Which makes sense. Someone's going to make you pay more money. Someone, The other person's not going to make you pay as much. You go for the cheap option. This is what's fucked up about that though. 50 didn't grow up with money. 50 was, if this was a couple of years, if shit that happened now happened a couple of years ago, Guaranteed he'd be uh, front line of the protest. And, okay, you don't like the tax pricks. Yeah, that's fucked up that he's going to take your money. But you're seriously going to ta take someone, ta put how much money you have to pay in taxes, let that override... Your basic uh, idea of someone not knowing whether a white supremacist group is a bad. Or someone that blatantly, when he was asked if the leader of the KKK is a bad guy, couldn't answer. Or when a bunch of people were, were having neo-Nazi flags and ran over some girl, he said there was pe bad people on both sides. So, A, that's fucked up, and B, it's going to kind of hurt your bottom line if you do. Because think. Next time you... Ne next thing you go into... If people... If people actually do cancel your ass... That whole tax break for the 1%... Might not affect you anymore. <laughs> if everybody really starts hating you... And stops buying your shit. You know what happened to MC Hammer, right? You make a few bad ca calls and you can't make extra money. That 1% sticker that, you got in, that you're so protective of goes away. Now for Cube. Which, huge, bigger fan. Love the guy. Guy can do no wrong. Guy could literally walk up and bitch smack me. And I'd still ask him for an autograph. But what I think he's doing that's good, pushing for um, I forget what it's what 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 he calls it, but it's basically putting black people's rights in the forefront. It's good job. Going to each party and trying to get them to push his agenda, smart. You don't beat you don't uh, beat the system by fighting against it. Sometimes you sneak what you want into the system. And just let it evolve. Pushing other shit aside. But again. You're trusting someone. That goes back on his word. Every other day. Can tweet one thing. And then tweet a completely different thing. You're trusting him to keep your word. His word that if he, you help him get elected. He's going to push your agenda. That's not going to happen. He pushes his agenda. That's it. And the reason everybody hates you, everybody's mad, not hates you, nobody could hate you, but the reason everybody's mad at you is not that you're going both sides. I guarantee if you didn't go to Trump and went to another one in his party, people wouldn't be as mad. This is the dumbed down version, how I get it. And again, scrawniest white boy giving opinions where he shouldn't have them, but giving opinions nevertheless. Okay. Let's say I work at I work at a job. Or I go to my favorite store every day. I go there, the guy gives me a cheap uh, discount every single time. He's willing to he, he actually uh, he gives me so much of a discount I'm making money at this place, right? It's great for me. 
But when I walk five feet out the door, a bigger customer beats me down, walks in, and, and, he, and buys a beer. Now, just because he helped me out five, just because he helped me out when I'm inside the store, does that get him off the hook for not doing shit when he sees something happening to me 10 feet away? No. So Trump signs this deal. He gives shitload of, let's say, I don't know what the deal is, but let's say black business gets a big ass ta tax cut or he helps out a, ra a hand handful of random neighborhoods. And then the next protest that a bunch of white supremacists show up and kill a random kid, he still doesn't say shit. Now, does... No. Is the 99% of... Um, the people supporting the... BLA... BLA going to see the tax cut out that the, the tax cut or the nicer neighborhoods or are they going to see that one dead kid that he's not that he's not doing anything about and not even saying that the guy that did is a bad guy I mean hell I don't even think he went on record about the cops that about those fucker cop, fucking cops yet though and he was blatantly asked if white supremacist groups are bad and he couldn't answer. That's like saying, hey, are the most evil groups on the planet bad people? But as always, this is just my stupid opinion. You have your own.